What is up, guys? We have the 2022 Mega Tint. It seems like it's been forever since these have uh, been announced, and you know, we finally have it now. So, thank you, Konami. It, it does seem like these tins are going to be a lot better than last year's. I'll go with that much, at least for now, and I'll hold. Um, hold out any, you know, speculation out of this video, because really, who the fuck cares? We just want to see, I, you guys just want to see me open this, right? You're just like, dance, monkey, dance. I get, I know, I know, guys, I know. So, yeah, without f further ado, this is half a case um, that I'm going to be opening up. I opened up the other half in YouTube Shorts, so if you guys follow me or subscribe or whatever the hell it is on YouTube, um, you guys should be getting the Shorts kind of bombarded at you between today and tomorrow uh so yeah go ahead and watch them if you're new to the channel subscribe all that good stuff let's go ahead and see what we get um spoiler though the yeah, you know what go watch the shorts and uh think for yourself but i don't think we got the better pulls from the from that side of the of the case if we even did get good pulls you know I, i'm still uh uncertain but let's go ahead and see what this half brings us um i will say too i have been getting a lot of bad luck with my, my pull so we'll see uh we'll see how this case goes master's diplomen diplomen all right I, I don't remember what uh which oh no yeah i forgot magic key is getting reprinted in here but they did my boys dirty they did not make them higher rarities i really hope we get more more magic key support guys because magic key is my favorite new archetype it's just that um yeah, konami just doesn't like manly archetypes i guess i don't know win witch diamond bell virtual world gate juan Wu. i think that's how you pronounce that son of son of alan daphne 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 i think it's like uh scooby-doo right daphne the Beginning Ruin God. Sweet. Stardust Synchron. See, this is a pretty good ultra, actually. And Despian Cortez. We did pull one of these, actually, already. So, um, eh, this is not, not, not too good of a start. Uh, we will actually go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read that, uh, that new God card support, because it is actually... Um, I think the second best support, in my opinion, and I think everyone is in agreement that Sly First new support is the best. Uh, I think it's just whether up to you to determine if Ra or Obelisk is the second. Uh, but okay, so break, the Breaking Ruin God. The activation of this card or its effects cannot be negated, nor can its effects be negated. Special summon one Obelisk, the Tormentor from your hand or graveyard and if you do it's unaffected by your opponent's card effects this turn if you tribute two or more monsters you control at the same time to activate your card or or, or effect your card or effect that, that's that wording is kind of weird to me but okay while you control a novelist tormentor you can banish this card from your graveyard banish all monsters in your opponent's graveyard and if you do inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each one of those bad boys and then you can only activate one of this per turn so you just need this in your graveyard and activate obelisk effect because that's really how the easiest way for you to activate this effect or to pop off to to make this go off right um i don't know i i think uh that's that, that enables a good otk i will also say calling out the good quality on the higher rarity at least uh by konami because you know i, I do give them I do give them credit where it's due, but I also will bust bust their balls when it's also, uh, you know, due. <laughs> the the comments though are still not there. Like you can see here, this I mean, who the fuck was chewing my fucking card, man? Come on, Konami, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Screams of the branded masquerade, the blazing dragon got got shafted. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I think this should have been a secret. But what do I know, right? I think it was a $25 Ultra at a point. I mean, really should have been a secret. Uh, Olivian, the uh, Sense of Vanity. I like this as an Ultra. Not doing too much right now, but it might change. Dark Guy of Nightmare. have no idea what set this even came out of. Oh, no, we got clowned again. Konami, stop clowning me. 
And if you don't know what that means, you did not watch my Ghost from the Past 2 case opening because they clowned the fuck out of me. But you know what? This, this time, maybe they ain't clowning. Maybe they're just lubing me up for some good time. We will see. Oh, they got the... Were these Ultras? I, f I feel like this was an Ultra. And this was definitely an Ultra, right? It was like a world premiere card that people were like, eh, is it good? Is it not? Now it's a common. Look, it, it's a common. It looks really fucking weird. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Magic Key World. I think this was an Ultra. So a little bit weird seeing it as a rare as well. Beast King Unleashed. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. That's right, guys. So I think every single Ghost Girl got reprinted in here, either as a super or a prismatic secret, which is really, I think that's really good. I don't like waifus, but I do know that people like, uh, I mean, competitive cards, right? Contract with the Abyss. Oh, yeah, Dark Ruler no more. No mo Dark Ruler. And Evil Twin, Evil Twin's Trouble Sunny. That ain't, I don't know, that should have been an ultra. If that, they should have probably not even included that card in here, to be honest. Fuck yo, Evil Twins. All right, guys, second tin. Let's see what we can get. The first tin, you know, I'm going to be honest, it ain't too good. We didn't really get anything that was too high rarity. A Luber as a secret is not that good, considering we just got him as an ultra, a very accessible ultra, especially in my case, uh, in Ghost from the Past 2. So I don't think that was needed by Konami. All right, I think in next, for the next tins i'm just gonna open all of them and spread out the packs and see and go at it no destiny hero denier is a common they did my boy dirty bro why i mean maybe a rare at least you know arm dragon flash uh, i remember this card was actually selling because you can basically get a level three for free it's like an emergency teleport for dragons or um, wind monsters, I guess, if you need something like that. Go key finishing move. Life twin, uh, Leela treat. Sprite's blessing. What card? Seems like it supports ritual cards. I like the foiling in this, though. I don't know if the camera can see that. Like, there's, like, these weird patterns over here in the backdrop. I don't know. I like it. I dig it. Lina, Lina, the Light Charmer Lustrous. And another Despian Cortez? Really? Come on, Konami. Stop clowning me, bro. You gotta stop clowning, clowning this guy. All right. Let's see. Zexel Alliance. Still weird that that's how you pronounce uh, that word. Not gonna lie. Synchro Transmission. What? I think this was Dawn of Majesty, but I don't remember the the rarity. Binary Blader, another Daphne, Earth Chant, DD Assault Carrier. Oh boys, that is actually kind of decent. Let me let me kind of put these cards here. All right, so Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, and it looks really nice in this foiling. Like I said, so the the rare cards in this set are actually kind of decent. The, uh, this one, I mean, the centering is kind of off now that I'm kind of looking at it, but, you know, that's nitpicking it. It's not like people, I mean, people are crazy. People might actually grade this card. Um, it is beautiful in person, though, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I wonder how how, how much of these are gonna go for uh, once the price settles. Um, speaking of prices, I actually do think Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes, uh, and Red Eyes are poised to go up a lot in value just because they are very rare. If you guys haven't been following, because I sure as hell have, um, since, oh, I'm Dragon Thunder level 10, dude. Look at that fucking Chad, bro. Dude, I love it. I love it. I'm going to put it over here, actually. Um, oh, boy. Speaking of, holy shit, dude. That tin was actually pretty fucking stacked. I wasn't expecting to get even one. Uh, so full disclosure, I did purchase a couple Dark Magician Girls, Blue Eyes, not Red Eyes. I probably should have bought some Red Eyes. Um, I do think the prices, as I was saying, was gonna go are going to go up. It's one per 10. Or, I wish it was one per 10. One per uh, case. for You're either going to get a Dark Magician Girl, a Blue Eyes, or a Red Eyes per 10 on average. Uh, same thing with Pot of Prosperity, which I called it. I don't know if you guys saw that market watch video, but I was like, wait, these prizes at 20 bucks for the pot of prosperity pre-sales like a while ago, that might actually be the lowest we're going to see in quite a while. 
and I was right, because Konami ain't fooling your boy. He might fool other boys, but he ain't fooling the boy. All right, I did open up the other tins. They're off. The packs are off in the wings. You guys can't see them, but just trust, boys. They are there. Just so to speed things up. I mean, who cares at this point what the box looks like, right? We want to see the fucking rares that we got. We got Sunvine crossbreeding. I do see a lot of Sunvine cards. Going up in value as well uh, from Ghost from the Past 1. So that might be something worth investing or looking at at least. Arm Dragon Thunder, level 10. Nice, the fucking Chad. Danger Disturbance Disorder. I don't know, I think that's a reprint maybe? Wait, wait is that a new card? I don't know Dangerous too much, I, I really don't know. Albion, the Branded Dragon, I guess. We'll take it, but it's not that good. Um, I don't play... Despia or Branded or um, Lubers or anything, really. Ida, the Sun Magician. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I will take another Masquerade. Masquerade, I'm telling you guys. So I see, I don't remember if I made a video about this, but I was like, I, actually, I, I invested in Masquerade when it was like a $3 card. Because I looked at the effect and I'm like, wait a second, people are not talking about this. And I made a, a decent amount of profit off it. I think I'm going to hold on to it. I don't think it's going to be, obviously, as much as, as it used to be because now it's more accessible. But it's still way too good of a card to not just even hold on to, right? Uh, Threshold Borg. have no idea what this card is. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one Cybers monster. All monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack. The losing attack isn't that good, but it is a good extender. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Level 7, Earth, Cybers. I don't know if there's a deck that fits that, or that needs that, but uh, Apex Predation, if you control a normal monster, if you control a normal summon or set monster, destroy all your opponent's summon monsters on the field until the end of your next turn. When this card is activated, you cannot normal summon or set. That's interesting. I mean, I don't think... Uh, oh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison looks very beautiful in this rarity. So the Prismatic Secret Rare, I mean, I'm sure you guys know, uh, it is like the Secret Rare from the main set, but it is a little bit shinier and a little bit... Uh, I mean, it looks better. Um... But I was, I was, what I was, blah, blah, blah. I was talking about flu underies. What the hell? Uh, I don't think it, they need that card. Flu underies are pretty good. Um, and I'm talking about Apex because, you know, my ADD, I see shiny stuff and I automatically uh, lose control. Birth of the Proference Flame, Magic Cylinders, Trap Tricks, uh, Vesiculo, Vesiculo, sure. Dogmatica Genesis, another Synchron. Okay, it's a spell, so Greater Poly. What? What a tease. Greater Poly ain't that good. It should not have been a Prismatic Secret. Me, I, I, so they they put a Greater Poly and Ready Fusion. I think Ready Fusion as a Prismatic is okay. It does look really nice. Greater Poly as a secret, Prismatic Secret, I don't think so. I think it should have just been like uh, Super or something. If that, I mean, it's a oh, way. The Sioux ship is a fucking a super. It actually kind of looks nice as a super. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like these Sioux ships, but um, the fatties that do, they got something nice. This is also pretty decent. Rarity upgrade, speaking of. Well, this is a rarity downgrade, really. Nibiru the Primal fucking Rock. That's what I'm gonna call him from now on. Is back, boys. Baby. Mud Dragon, another dual tower. No, no, this also should not have been a prisma or, yeah, prismatic secret. Unfortunately, Konami likes to do some stupid stuff sometimes. But what are you gonna do? Denier. Every time I see it as a common, I, I don't know. It hurts me. B troopers are actually in here. I don't think. It, I think this is the first tin where the world premieres were actually in, right? Um, Judge of the Ice Barriers. Is that from the uh, Ice Barriers deck or whatever it was called? Book of Lunar Eclipse, Eclipse is a super. That's actually kind of... It looks pretty fucking nice, actually, as a super. Wow. Huh. Lina, the Light Charmer Lustrous. Triple Days. Super. Sight. King Zero. Maxwell. All right. Drew. <laughs> Tritron. Moo. Beta Ginsburg. 
I mean, I guess. I, I This deck fell off so hard. I really, you know, I kind of blinked and I missed what was going on with that deck, essentially, because it was it le legitimately that fast, how, how fast that deck uh, fell off. That card was fetching, like, I don't know, 60 bucks. Ghost, Mourner, and Moon... Wait, no, what did I call this one? Moonlit and Chill. Moonlit and Chill is a super rare, which looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. I, th I think they're all the the normal... Yeah, this is not the alt art, so I think they're all not alt arts in this set. I'm gonna actually put her in here. That's my favorite ghost girl. Um, Skylar. <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah, sure. Gal Galamor Dragon Shell. Gal Gable Guiremore Dragon Shell. How the fuck do you pronounce that, guys? What the hell? And I'm, not, I'm getting clowned, I swear. If I get clowned one more time... Konami, if I get clowned one more time, you're gonna get a strongly worded letter, I swear. All right, uh, is this stacked? I, I don't think we're making our money back, if I'm gonna be completely honest. We really need, so this is this is, good, this is our second uh, to last tin here. We really need some, some magic here. Like the dang video, guys, we need the magic. Life Twin, Key Sickle, Frost, sure. Sure, sure. High Ritual Arts, Threshold, Borg, again. Another Apex Predation. That was, like, the same thing. I kind of ruined it in the back. Nothing really good. Um, I swear there's, like, patterns. Uh, Armed Dragon Thunder, level 7. Shouldn't probably not have been a Prismatic. It looks nice, Konami, but I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. There's better cards that you could have included as a Prismatic Secret, like Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, for one. But... You know what? At least they did put Dark Magician Girl and really all the the reach the new alt arts for the DM cards as secret rares. I was really worried about that, so kudos to them. Uh, Trap Tricks Kalaria, Ghost Reaper, and Winter Cherries. I think that's the first one we got here. Apex Predation, Earth Chant, and wow, I'll take that actually. Not too bad. Red Eyes, Dark. Dragoon. I think this one's better center than the other one, which I don't know why I'm looking at the centering. Now I'm kind of nitpicking, but uh, I mean, I don't know. We Last time we got a Dark Dragoon, we got a Dark Magician Girl right after that, so let's see what we get here. Another Dark Magician Girl would be nice, but again, it's one per ten on average, or about. There are some freak tins, but we cannot get our hopes up. They're slower, slower swallow. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to show my girlfriend that one. She ain't got... <laughs> Never mind. Abyss Keeper, DD Assailant. Oh, boy. That's actually nice. I will take it, bro. Oh, man. That... Oh, the centering is... Why do I look at the centering? What the... These are not expensive cards. Um... But no, this is this quickly became one of my favorite cards because it does help out uh, hero decks so much. It makes it so much better. It, it gets your opponent thinking, "What is he gonna do with that? Uh, with that quickie, basically, right?" And you know what? I will take it. Let's put that there. Actually, um, all right. So last ten here. We we did get a dark magician girl, you know. Not too bad. That's really... That's the chase card I was at going for. Someone that hates waifus as much as I do. I know it's pretty... Pretty sad. I've, I've fallen into the the hype. Another slower swallow. Flew under reason and empen. That was hard to get. That's the first one. And this one too. Dark Infant Adding Nister. Okay. Rebuilder. And another Arm Dragon Thunder level 7. That's unfortunate. Let's see. I'm trying to separate them here. So it makes it easier to sort after the video. All right, second to last pack. Let's see what we got. Let's see. You and I, B Trooper, B Trooper Scout Buggy. Are all the B Trooper cards in here? High Ritual Art. I can get higher though. Gunkin Sue Ship Shari Branded Bond. Oh, that, that looks kind of nice in this rarity. Not gonna lie. I just don't really see the appeal for the branded cards. Uh, Zexel Construction and another Dual Tower Konami. What are you doing? You're clowning me, I swear. Dual Tower. Should, oh, man. They, uh, 
Dual Tower and uh, Into the Varanes are probably the worst secrets to pull uh, in this set. Um, I'm willing to get my mind changed, but I really do think those are those cards are just not that good. Uh, and also, I mean, like people are not really gonna want them, right? Uh, there might be some hardcore players, but I don't think so. Laundry, Trap, ZS, Ascendive Siege, Ghost Mortar, and Moonlit, and Chill. Um, DD, Assault Carrier. Another Lina. That was, that's not hard to get. Our last one. It, ooh, it's a it's an effect monster. Oh, I'm trying to think. What effect monster? It's another Arm Dragon Thunder level 7, isn't it? Oh, Kitty Cat. All right. <laughs> I was going to say Konami. I swear to God. Actually, it could have been a Luber. Another Luber. Fucking clowned. Um, Kitty Cat. I guess that's all right. An okay way to finish. This was a $5 super rare at a point. So, depending on how, if we get more Tri Brigade support soon, which I don't know, we might. You know, you, you can't hold hold out hope. Uh, that might go up in value. But I think that's decent. It's not, It's all right. As far as the stuff I wanted, I actually did get. Um, it was Dark Magician Girl off the hop. That, that's the first thing I wanted. Uh, just because, I mean, this is this is a really nice artwork. The Really, any of the alt art, the new alt arts would have been great. But this was my go-to. And then, of course, DPE and a couple Dragoons was something that I was um, looking for. And I did get it. So, eh, all around the tin, the the case was all right. I, I don't think I made my money back, though, which is unfortunate. Um, no Pot of Prosperity. So, that card is insanely hard to get. And in the video I made, I think it was a market watch, I did say if it is one or two per case that the, the price was going to go up. And I think we already, we're already seeing that in TCG player in pre-sale. So I think the price is going to go up more than like $60 if this is anything to go off, right? If you need two cases to get one copy and you need three copies on average per deck, it's going to be a really expensive card, unfortunately. Konami being Konami. Uh, that's going to be the video, though, guys. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the shorts, and uh, hopefully I'm not annoying you too much with the shorts. Uh, it's a really good engagement for the channel, and it's been growing, so amazing. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.